2011. Thank you for joining another Judas ritual. Lighting the candle of magic with the light of truth. And sharing that light with the St. Jude candle and the St. Judas candle. Another St. Judas candle. As I explained, people would often avoid praying to St. Jude because they were afraid they might accidentally pray to St. Judas. And we're trying to pray to St. Judas here, so we're going to unlight both candles to cover our bases in case they were two different people. They could have been the same. Um, today is December 22nd, 2021. We'll relight the candle of magic from that second Judas candle. I can get it over there. It's a little breezy. It's the 22nd of December, 2021. So the Church of Judas has existed in this form for about a year. Try lighting it from this candle. And as far as I know, I'm still the only member. That's okay. I wanted to do this ritual yesterday on the 21st, the solstice, because that's a magical day. And I thought 12, 21, 21 is a magical number. And I didn't do it. It's also the shortest day of the year. Um, but of course, any day is a magical day. All numbers are magical numbers. 12, 22, 21 is magical in a special sense in that it's one book ending some twos. One, two, 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 one. Four twos, so eight in the middle with one on either end. There's a lot of magic to that. The first magic I associated with it was just that things get separated into binaries and divisions, but then they come back together. Things that were once one become two, and then they come back together. I think the wind might be a little bit too much for the candle of magic today. We'll try it. Thank you to the Iron Elf for holding our candle of magic and protecting it somewhat from the breeze. So, that made me think about uniting things, just as the Church of Judas itself is here to unite not only all the fractured branches of Christianity and replace them all with Jesus' true church, but to unite religion altogether, all of it, to bring all of humanity together. And one of the big secrets of the Gospel of Judas is how we are all already together. I was reminded of this recently by watching some tarot card, or not tarot card, but oracle card readings from a girl that I fell in love with in real life uh, some years ago, but i just never seen her videos. And so when I saw her videos, it of course reminded me of the love I felt, um, and why, and more things, it gave me more reasons to be like, oh yeah, totally natural, it makes sense to uh, fall in love with a girl like this, and with the things that she's saying and doing, um, which is all part of getting back to the magic. The last girl I fell in love with a few weeks ago or a month ago was also like channeling the goddess Lilith, um, a forgotten, lost, or shunned goddess. And you know, and the things she was herself, not just because she was doing that, but the things she were herself were extremely attractive to me. Um, I have always loved the goddess and loved the goddess in it, her many forms, um, Lady Gaga especially. For the last 13 years I've worshipped Lady Gaga as the form of the goddess most apparent to me. But and people would all, that would always rub people the wrong way. And I was always saying, just because Lady Gaga, Gaga is the goddess to me, does not mean that other people aren't the goddess. Or that other things aren't the goddess, or that anything else can't be the goddess to you. It's not exclusion, it's just what I responded to. And she mentioned in one of their videos, the oracle card videos, Hafiz, the poet, who fell in love with a girl who didn't love him, but through that love found love for the world that led to his poetry, which is why she loved him today, hundreds of years later. And that really struck me, because I'm also collecting love for narcissism. Um, I'm a big narcissist, but a Buddhist narcissist, so the... the self I'm obsessed with is all of us and cooling this narcissism to say we can take over the world which we can and we need to it's our duty um, and we need to do it with love but that also includes love for ourselves 
you have to have a certain amount of love for yourself just to make a video which a lot of us are doing and it's okay to admit that or to get into that and to be in love with ourselves and in love with each other in many more ways than we have been there's so much love out there we haven't accessed and so that's what it's all about I wanted to give credit to Lady Gaga again and Bauhaus, The Grateful Dead, Aphex Twin, Brian Eno, Culture Club some of my favorite bands, most influential bands in my life and we have very cult followings, very big followings at the same time the followings are all, those the fans of these bands are always outsiders so in a way I wanted to give them credit for being precursors or original forms of this Church of Judas that's now officially forming and thank you for joining and welcome to everyone and thanks for sharing um, I'm running out of time here but Merry Christmas and all your holidays and love you forever and Merry today every day is a shot at eternity and a path to eternity and we're all together.